and they go forever if we're not careful. Yeah. So yeah. we think this is a defining moment. And remember, for every one of you that's turned up here this evening, yeah. you're representing a thousand people Absolutely. out there. John and I first made a stand against cuts in our own ward in Southampton. We soon discovered from the response we got from local people, and in fact from people across Southampton, that the stand we'd made, which was a principled stand, was popular, and that people were relieved that at last somebody was standing up for them. I'm here today to voice my support for the campaign to protect the youth services across the city of Southampton. I'm a St. Mary, Mary's native, grew up in Southampton. I was a user of the youth, service, youth services during my teenage years. During that time, I made mistakes. The youth services never criticised me, never condemned me, always supported me. And now I have an education and I have a future and I'm working on with my life. We didn't plan to be there at that point in time, but circumstances forced the pace. And now we're in a position where, effectively, we have to fight against redundancies, cuts in services, devastation across Southampton. And we're not prepared to stand idly by and watch it happen. Save our youth services. We're here to show our support. Uh, we don't want them to be closed down. They're very special to us and they mean that we've got somewhere to go. If we don't have youth services, we'll just be stuck inside or on the street. We propose, as two councillors, a minority of two, but we'll be proposing that instead of mating, making cuts this year, that the council use prudential borrowing to keep things going for just 12 months and during that course of time build a campaign, local people, the trade unions, council staff. In fact, develop it beyond the boundaries of Southampton to across the south. We believe that that will get a response from people because this is affecting everyone, not just the most vulnerable, who are the most affected, but everyone across society. Part in this protest organised by Southampton campaign to save uh, youth services and play services in the city. Tonight there are youth workers here from all across Southampton, obviously young people as well who use services in the city and supporters here who are opposed to cuts to youth services and cuts to services in the city. And the government recently signed off uh, the first of the contracts for the replacement of the Trident missile system, £6 billion signed off. So the money's there, <coughs> it's just a question of where this government wants to spend it. When do we want it? No! And the purpose of the protest today is to make it absolutely clear to all councillors in Southampton that they have a responsibility to stand up and fight for the interests of young people and our communities to ensure that we have the services that we pay for and the services that our community need. I don't think enough members of the Labour group in Southampton appreciate that the, the tough decision to cut services and jobs this year is going to be repeated next year and the year after. It's not going to get any easier. Just imagining that all they have to do is put up their hands in February and vote this through, and that's the end of it, is a pipe dream. The painful truth is they'll be doing it next year and the year after, possibly even the year after that, until services are devastated and Labour councillors will have played their part in achieving that. On the, on, on the Oakland's swimming pool campaign, um, we started to recognise the support that we were getting because we were actually standing up for our local residents at the time. Um, never did we think in a million years that a Labour administration would devastate the services in the fashion that they want to devastate them. And Oakland was just the beginning. That really brought out, and we, and we, and we were told by many, many people about the support they were given, Keith and I, for trying to save uh, the only leisure facility we had in our ward. But 
that went further afield. Across Southampton, we started getting emails and messages mm -hmm. of support. Across Britain, Glasgow, Liverpool, London, we had messages of support from all over saying that this mini budget, that at long last they had someone to stand up and fight for them. Individual members of the unions are giving us support verbally, sending us messages, emails, letters. We're getting messages from individuals and from branches. But also we're getting tremendous support, particularly from the RMT and Bob Crow. We've also had the support, a message of support from Len McCluskey of the Unite the Union. And we have no doubt that as this campaign against the cuts begins to develop, that more and more unions and union activists and, and ordinary union members will be willing to sign up to support it. Just so that people are aware, the current budget proposals for the council will be made on February the 13th and are proposing £20 million worth of cuts to services in the city, which will mean the loss of over 300 jobs. It will mean cuts to all sorts of services for the homeless, to support families, to libraries, to youth services. Across the uh, across the city, I think I think this this whole issue raises the big question of why, when Labour councils across the country are prepared to make cuts, and the Labour leadership goes on record as saying that if the Labour government is elected, they won't be prepared to restore the funding. Why, is, why would the unions want to continue backing that party? He who pays the piper calls the tune. But in this case, it would appear that the trade unions are paying, but it's still unaccountable, uh, an unaccountable Labour leadership that's calling the tune. I think that the trade unions are going to have to think very carefully about who they support in the future. We don't forget where this all started from and where it's all going. There, it's, no, it's no hidden secret that the coalition government wants to dismantle local authorities across Britain. They want to do that, that's very clear. Where I come to answer what came unbelievable to me after 30 years of being in the Labour Party, that a Labour administration, a Labour opposition and eventually a government one day, want to continue that dismantling of local government. I mean, the whole concept of local government, you know, our forefathers must be turning in their grave to know that Labour members are having a Conservative-led government to dismantle our facilities. Once these facilities go, and under this administration, I'm sorry to say they are going, but once they go, they go forever. And we need to fight that, and fight that with everything we got. We owe it to our forefathers, we owe it to our children. My name's Dave Nellist, I'm the National Chair of the Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition. The Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition, Tusk, was set up um, just three years ago to give people from trade unions, from anti-cuts campaigns, from residents and tenants organisations fighting to preserve their local services, the chance to stand in elections under one common umbrella and to feel part of a national campaign against the coalition government's austerity plans. Regretfully, it's not just the coalition government. All the main parties seem to agree with the same diet that the matter, the fact that we didn't cause this crisis, us and our families have to pay for it. Well, we don't agree with that and we're making sure that when elections come like this May, there are going to be hundreds of candidates up and down the country who are going to challenge this idea that the gambling and the speculation of the bankers should be transferred over into wage cuts, into service cuts, into pension cuts, into cuts in the things that we rely on on local areas. So that's what Tusk was set up to do and we want you to consider not only supporting our work in general, but perhaps standing for the council in the May elections yourself. If that's of interest to you, get in touch.